In this lesson, I'm going to show you a bit about how to set up a single sign-on environment and also a bit about how to troubleshoot that single sign-on environment. So I'm going to go over here to my Rock 3 server, which is not connected to any other server. We can see this because in our users, we just have our local users. We have our local groups, which there's none of those. We do have file sharing turned on. Open directory is not running. So how do we connect to another server? Well, we've already seen that you can use the System Preferences Users and Groups pane, but we can also use the Directory Utility. And Directory Utility can be started by going to the Tools menu and clicking on Directory Utility. So that's three different ways we have to start Directory Utility so far. One from the Users and Groups pane, one from Server App, and one if you go into System Library Core Services. Now we need to unlock this as an admin. And we're going to use the LDAP version 3 protocol. So double click on that. Click on the disclosure triangle to see what's going on. We're going to click a new connection. And we need to set up a new server with a server name or IP address. I prefer using the DNS name. And we click on continue. Then we need to have a directory administrator name and password as well. And we click on continue. Watch the lower left above the manual button and you'll see messages like binding, adding server, setting up server, things like that. Okay, now we have our configuration. If you want to, you can go in and edit this configuration. I'm just going to browse around here a little bit. We can see our connection is defined by the DNS name of the server, the search and mappings. We don't really need to do anything because we're getting those from our server. And also, under our security settings, we can see that we did make a trusted, or another word is authenticated bind to our server, and that our server was created as ROC3$. We're going to click OK on that, and OK again. And now we can exit out of directory utility. But to be safe, we might want to check our search policy. Make sure that LDAP version 3 and the name of your domain is listed. Now we are almost ready to test this out. Let's double check our file sharing. I have previously set up the public folder for file sharing. And all I did was make sure that it was available and that at least I had read permissions if I were to use, say, one of the Mars accounts. And since everyone does have read permission, at least the Mars accounts will have read permission. So we're ready to try to log in to a bound in computer. And in this case, we're using admin one. Remember that it's bound into the rock one open directory master, not to rock three. So Mars Pathfinder is MPF, we type in the password and press return. Now we're connected, but we haven't yet done anything with the rock three server. All we've done is the same thing we've seen before. We have a home folder. And that home folder, if we command click on the proxy icon, shows us that it's based on a SharePoint on admin one. So I'm closing that finder window. Now I need to connect to the Rock 3 server. So I'm going to use the Go menu to choose the Connect to Server down here at the very bottom. And you can see that I've already got AFP colon slash slash Rock 3 dot foamingrocks.com typed in here. That's the path of the server and the protocol. So I'm going to go ahead and click on connect. And we get this error message. This is really weird because we have set up the single sign-on environment properly so far. What happens is there's a difference in Mountain Lion from the way that things have worked previously. So I'm going to cancel out of that. And I want to show you this difference. But to do so, we need to go into the terminal. So I'm opening my terminal. And there is a command called klist, K-L-I-S-T, for Kerberos listing that'll list out your credentials of your principles. And you can notice that the principle that we are using is this thing called well-known colon com.apple.lkdc. That's the local Kerberos database. So that is probably not what we want to use. There's another form of the klist command called klist-l, which will list out all the caches that we have. And you can see that we've got this other principle, MPF at rock one foamingrocks.com. That's the one we want. So I'm going to highlight it and use a command C to copy it. And there is another command that is going to allow us to use that proper principle. It's called K switch. K 
K-S-W-I-T-C-H. And we're going to use the dash P parameter. And then you need to type in the principal name, which I just pasted with Command V, and press Return. Now if we do an up arrow twice to get back to the K list by itself command, we can see that we are actually getting a Kerberos ticket granting ticket, an AFP server ticket for Rock 1, and an AFP server ticket for Rock 3. So let's try that connect to server command again. And I will just minimize the terminal window and make sure that this says finder up here. We'll do a command K to bring up that connect to server window, return, and we really shouldn't be seeing this again, but I have seen it be a little bit stubborn. Let's bring up the terminal and see if it switched back to the old way. Yep, it sure did. So I have found that persistence is rewarded. If we do this enough times, we should be able to get connected without having to keep doing a k-switch command. Okay, so the magic incantation that seems to have worked was not only to use the k-switch command, but also to try to connect once with the password, cancel out of it, and then it did not need the password the next time. And I did not save the password in the keychain. So now we're connected to that public folder. We still have our proper Kerberos credentials, and k-switch does work. And what I've seen online is that many people are writing a k-switch script that runs at login time to make sure that they're using the correct principle. And then they tend not to have this problem with continually needing to type in the password. And they get back to the single sign-on environment. So you may run into challenges like this, but now you know how to troubleshoot it with the k-list command, with the k-list-l command, and maybe even fix it, at least temporarily, with the k-switch-p command.